Subscribe to Ninja's Craziest. Press the bell icon and never miss another video update. Ninja's Craziest is not a review of any political parties, individuals, or religious group. This show is just for comedy purposes only. It might contain scenes with strong languages, strong satirical humor, links to relatives you might know, and references some may find offensive. If that kind of thing will offend you, because close your browser now and get out of here. Get out of here! Hi guys, welcome to this episode. 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 On this episode, we want to take a look at uh, <laughs> my Kenya people. I do love me some Kenya people. So the Kenya people don't take shit from nobody, man. Kenya people are South Africans. That's how we love them. In South Africa, you cannot do any here. You know, it's only the zombies that take it. But you know, in Kenya, you cannot do any here. If you do any here, you will see anyhow. You know. So, hello guys, welcome to this episode. This episode, we're talk about Kenya, a Kenya pastor that was beaten to stupor and is now in the hospital. So, the general overseer of Wings of Blessings African Church, Pastor James Mugo, I don't know what he was thinking, but it's their usual tactics to dupe people. Was preaching in church. He decided to tell his members that to unlock the blessings Jesus Christ and God has for them in 2022, they will require a small unlocking fee. The fee is not too much. You know, this thing is a game of numbers. If you tell them, bring 100,000 shillings, people will not be able to afford. But if you have a huge crowd, you tell them, bring 4,200 shillings. Calculate it with the huge crowd and see how much he makes at the end of the service. So, he told his members that to unlock the blessing Jesus Christ of Nazareth has for them in 2022, they will have to pay 4,200 shillings. So, I'm sure some people looked around the church and looked at the numbers of people that this man wants to collect 4,200 shillings for. He wants to buy private jets. <laughs> So, an, an argument ensued between the members and pastor. Pastor, why will you say we need 4,200 shillings to unlock the blessings of, of God? Blessings that God has already given to us. Pastor said, if they don't pay that money, they will die poor in 2022. So, an argument ensued between them. And the uh, pastor got to the beating of his life. In Nigeria, they will tell you that they mend you. You know, they, they, if they say they beat you, it's different. If they say they mend you, that means you are landing in hospital. They say they men, they don't mend them. Mm -hmm. Mending means you are in hospital. They are, you are not recovering from that. So they mend pastor. I pastor landed in hospital. Now we are not saying violence is okay. We are not endorsing violence. But the kingdom of God suffered violence and the violence take it by force. It's the Bible that said so. The kingdom of God suffered violence and the violence does what? Take it by force. So the members took it the pastor's face by force. You understand? You see, if more members do this to some of these charlatans, they will be afraid to open their brown teeth to ask for ridiculous things. People are suffering in Africa. There's a lot of poverty all across Africa. And all they do is to tell the same impoverished people to bring money, to unlock blessings. No difference between the African politician and the African pastor. Criminals of the highest order. Now, Kenyans, I love this. This pastor wants to be like the other rich Charlatans in Kenya. One is worth 4.5 billion. Bishop Alan Kuina. 4.5 billion. Him and his wife. Re Re Reverend Katie Kuina. 4.5 billion. Kenya. And you see how people carry him money to go and give him. You have one prophet, David Edward Owo. What's 3.3 billion? <laughs> You have brother Kamelesh Patni, 3 billion. You have one bishop called Bishop Margaret Wanjuru, 2.1 billion net worth. 
You have one Pastor Pius Muiru, 1.8 billion net worth. You have one Pastor Thomas Wahome, 1.6 billion net worth. Then you have one that says he's not a bishop, he's not a prophet, he's a preacher. Preacher Victor Kanyari. Preacher Victor Kanyari. That one is worth 1.1 billion. Then you have Reverend Teresa Wairimu. 900 million. You have Bishop Mark Kairiuku. 750 million. Then you have James Ngang. 300 million. Now you can see why Lucy Nashasha is desperate. So desperate to break into the millionaire pastor rings that she has spiritual vagabond godfathers everywhere. She too, she's a vagabond anyway, allegedly. So Kenya, you people need to, you need to, I like this one, but I think you need to replicate it. You need to replicate it. I'm not saying you should go around beating all the pastors, but anyone that says any nonsense. The thinking norm of God can suffer red violence that day. Mm. You know, I'm not saying I, I'm not I'm not advocating violence, but anyone that does any rubbish that you don't like, let the kingdom of God suffer red violence that day. You know, the love we have for you is like our African brothers. The charlatans must go down. <laughs> Look how much these people are amassing. The Bible said it is easier. For a camel to pass through the eye of a needle, that for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. Do these men read this chapter of the Bible? Do they, or they just choose to ignore it and gather? I know what it is. Because of the way they get their wealth, where they get their wealth, their own riches is on earth. You can hear when that girl was saying that Chris Okafo used to brag how, how many jets I have, how many watches I have. How many suits I have? I have 50 cars. That is all they do. Their all riches of the kingdom is on earth. They have gotten it. They don't, I don't know if they, if they know something that whether there is heaven or they, they are just amassing it here on earth. Their own reward. There's nothing like a reward in heaven for your pastors. All their reward here on earth. And they don't know. Vanity upon vanity. There is a Kenyan proverb. There's an African proverb from Kenya. Oh, this feels unusual. Normally when I say that, Joshua starts ranting. There's an African proverb from Kenya. It says, the wealth of the greedy ultimately goes to the community. Amass all this wealth. When you die, it will... They said, the Bible said, your land will become desolate. Nothing will come of it. Everything will scatter. Go and look at go and look at one of our big prophets in Africa. Thank you guys for watching this Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and laugh me. Follow up again Instagram and join the community and follow us on our social media and just Don't forget guys. Question everything because normal is boring.